So, um, good evening. I this morning I was in court, and um, yes. Hello. Hmm. Kuma Kenny. Hey. Mm. And that's far. On the other side. Mm. That's far. By the time they are reaching that side. Mm -hmm. That's traffic. That's really far. Okay, I'll call you back. Um I'm I'm just about to do a live. Let me call you back. Mm. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm. So <clears throat> this morning I was in court. And um after I finished court, I I started looking around for uh, for Chris Zumani Zimba and uh, his other co-accused. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't uh, uh, you know get into Chimbokaila for some reasons, but it has now been confirmed that Chris Zumani Zimba is at Chimbokaila. It has been confirmed that Chris Zuman Zimba is a Chimbokaila. Uh, one of his co-accused is at Kamwala. The other three, they are in Chimbokaila. Now, here is the issue. Here there is, there is something that is that smells illegal. Here there is something that smells illegal. And uh, you Zambians, or us Zambians, need to be wary of some of these uh, things that don't really follow the law that are not in tandem with the law what is the issue the issue is this people need to know this when you are arrested when you are arrested you are detained at a police station or police post you are in the hands of the police when you are arrested you are in the hands of the police until they take you to court. When they take you to court, now you are in the hands of the court. So at, when you are arrested, you are in the hands of the police. There is no court involved. You are in the hands of the police. And this is why when they are releasing you at police station, you are given bond. At the police station, you are given bond. sana. At the police station, the police give you bond. They don't give you bail. They give you bond. And the bond, you don't pay. Bond. At the police, there is no payment. There is no payment. Bond is, you are not, you are not supposed to pay. You are not supposed to pay. A number of citizens have been charged. They have been made to pay for bond. You are not supposed to pay. Bond is free. Bond is not chargeable. Yes, there is an amount which is charged, which which there is an amount which is written on the bond, whereby if you if you miss the conditions or if you fail to meet the conditions, that is when you pay that amount. If that is when you pay that amount, but at police you don't pay. When you are just arrested, you are in the hands of the police, and if the police are to release you, which is at the discretion of the police. You are released on bond. The, you don't pay any amount unless you abrogate the conditions of the bond. Then you pay that amount which is on the bond. Now, Chris Zuman Zimba was just arrested. Meaning, he was in the hands of the police. And you can only go to Chimbokaila. Chimbokaila is under the correctional service. Chimbokaila, remand prison, all the prisons, remand prisons and the, the other prisons are in the hands of the correctional service. And to go to the prison, you are supposed to pass through the court. The court is the ones that sends you to, that sends you to a, a correctional service or a prison. It is not the police. So, at the police station, they must take you to a, to they must take you to, 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 to court. And then the court will now send you to will send you to the prison. So Chris was in the hands of the police. And Chris hasn't been to court. Surprisingly, Chris was taken at night 
I'm emphasizing, at night, he was removed from the police station at Woodlands Police Station and taken to Chimbokaila. The question is, how did this happen? Because he's supposed to pass through the court and then go to, go to remand prison. So how did Chris find himself, Chris and the other friends, how did he find himself in a remand prison without passing through the court? This is the question. Chris was not taken to court by the police. How did Chris find himself Kuchimbokaila? How did Chris find himself in a prison? How? What documents did they use to send him there when he didn't pass through the court? Yes, a magistrate, meaning from court, there can be a warrant for somebody to be taken into prison. You, the, the police can go to can go to a, to a court to give a reason to say we want this person to go to, uh, to to remand prison. And the court can sign a warrant. Now, these are exceptional circumstances. And I'm asking, if this, if this is what happened, who signed? Who signed this? How did this magistrate sign that no, take them to Chimbokaila? For what reason? When the case is not before that magistrate, very strange is this. When the prisons are closed, when the prisons are closed, there is a time that prisons are closed. And when the prisons are closed, Buana, they are not opened at night. If I told you, network cut. I was trying to explain. Uh, I was trying to explain that if somebody has to move from the police going to Chimbokaila, there must be a warrant. And I'm wondering which magistrate or which judge signed for them to go into Chimbokaila. But what is more strange, what is more strange than besides those, those, those documentations and procedures is that more prison, more prison, according to the prisons, there is a time when uh, 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 the when the, the the prisons must close be it remand prison or the main prison there is a time when they close there is a time when they close and when they close they open in the morning unless in exceptional circumstances so in this instance i am wondering how did the police manage to take this person in the night Kuna nkaneku prison and have the prisons opened. When you are entering new prison, Bingabale Isala, they count you one, two, three, four, shan, shan, shan. At the end of the day, they they write the number 20 and they lock the, the prisons. Until tomorrow, and tomorrow morning they count again. One, two, three, they open. So how did the police manage to go and convince the prison service? Without a person going through a, a, a court to have Zuman and his friends deposited in Chimbokaila. How did this happen? There is something that is wrong here. There is something that is wrong. And why I'm talking, I am talking because wrong things must not be allowed to perpetuate. Wrong things must not be ignored because it is not happening to me. Some of you, like Bachipo Edwards Mutinta, Ababa Chipo Edwards Mutinta, but then you start alarmists. This for them it is okay, but Chipo Edwards Mutinta, I want to tell you that wrong things, when they happen to another person, be rest assured that one day you will face the same wrong things. We don't talk because we just want to talk. We don't talk because we want to be alarmists. No. We talk for the good of society. We want order in society. We want the rule of law to be followed. That's why we talk. That's why we talk. That's why I'm talking. I am talking because something is wrong. It is not ordinary. 
for people from Marseille to find themselves in prison. If you allow these things, many of you, you will find yourself waingira mu, mu, mu police next to the mu prison. You will end up being jailed. People will start being, the, the, the government can start jailing people without taking them to court. That is a danger. If we are going to allow these kind of things, it means that this government will start jailing people without passing them through the court. That's why you have to pass through from Marseille. You go to you go to court, and from court you go to prison. That is why there is that process, so that the the the, the court can look at the case which the police has. But if you are going to be taking people from 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 the police straight to prison, you are removing one imp one important institution of government. That is the gap. That is that is the court. So it shouldn't be allowed. Don't get comfortable. Don't feel to say no. It is Zumani. I mean, after all, I don't know Zuman. Who is Zumani? Uh, who is the gift? Who is the uh, Maguire? You, you shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't allow wrong things. This is wrong. At least from my point of view, it is wrong. How did they open in the night? How? Who signed the warrant? It is very unfortunate. And I insist, the case that these people are charged with, according to the police, it is non bailable But it is non bailable after it was re after it was changed in 2020. I think it's 2022. But at the time that they committed this offense in 2020, it was bailable So, and then if you look at the substance of the case, I can assure you this case, seeing the light of um, a, a day in court, seeing this case in court, uh, you, you will remember me. You'll be laughing. You'll be laughing. And these are some of the cases, like some of you, it is easy to prosecute a case on social media. It is very easy. I know people get excited. Hey, Tehari is going to jail. Tehari is going to jail. You should be coming to court and listen. Listen to some of these cases and see if indeed I am a potential prisoner. You should be coming to court and listen if indeed I am a potential prisoner. I'm not a criminal. How can I be a potential criminal? How can I be a potential prisoner when I'm not a criminal? All I do is talk. And what I talk about is something that affects everyone in this country. I speak for the good of this country. That's what I that's why I speak. I don't speak for myself. I don't come to social media. I don't do that. Even those that help me, they help me not because I've come on social media to ask. They help me because of appreciating what I'm doing. Appreciating what I'm doing. And here. I want you to learn. We were shy, Shiva. Vaka Pokolanga Vakuikata. Ngabalefo Kukufumia. Ni bond. And the bond you don't pay. Then, Bafida Baktola Kukoti. When they take you to court, that's where there is bail. Bail can be, can be in your own recognizance or cash bail. In your own recognizance, recognizance it means that you won't pay. The court will say, you will pay 50,000 kwacha, okay? But in your own recognizance, meaning you won't pay that 50,000 kwacha unless you mess up with the conditions. You mess up with the condition. For example, if you don't go to court on a day that you are required to go to court, then you will pay the 50,000 kwacha. But if you attend court, you don't miss court, then you don't need to pay that amount. But when they give you cash bail, Yes, that one you pay. You pay. Cash bail you pay. In your own recognizance, you don't pay. This is bail, which is given at court. Chris Zuman Zimba has not been given bond. Chris Zuman Zimba has not been to court. So we can talk about bail. We can talk about bail. Pretty much, um, that's what I wanted to tell you. But anyway, I'm happy that we have located him because I was very concerned. And I'm sure even some of the relatives of his co-accused, they also wanted to know. 
one of them um, you know one of them is at Kamwala but the others are at um, at uh, Chimbokaila I think uh, uh, having said that let me go and see my wife now have a good evening thank you